When creating new files using VS Code's File Explorer, you can use a slash in the file name to put that new file inside of a specific directory. Say that I wanted to create a new JavaScript file here and put that inside a directory called source. Rather than first creating the source directory and then creating the new file inside of that, I'm just going to click the new file button and then say source slash index.js. And when I enter that, you'll see that VS Code has both created the directory and then created the new index.js file within that directory. Now I can even create more complex structures if I wanted to. So I could say a slash b slash c slash d.js here. And now VS Code has created that entire directory structure. So all of these directories are inside of each other, but because they're all empty or just contain one item, it, VS Code has automatically collapsed those down, but you can actually confirm on disk that the structure here is correct. Now I can also use this to put a, or a new file inside of an existing directory. So here source already exists, and I'm just gonna go to the top level. So I'm focused on the top level of the Explorer. And I'm going to create a new file here, and I'm going to say source slash x.js. And when I do this, you'll see that VS Code put the new x.js file within that source directory. So when it needs to, it will automatically create new directories. But in this case, because the directory already existed, it just put that new file inside of there. Of course, this also works for create new directory. So if I wanted to create a new directory inside of another directory, I can just put a slash in the file name. So let's say a slash b. And now we have nested directories. This can really save you a few steps when creating new files in your project.